Joe and his partner Diane are both oh, here now. When you sat on this sofa in 2015, you said to Holly and I, um, I don't really feel very famous, I can walk down the street, nobody knows me. So? <laughs> it's I've got, got a new demographic now, which is nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I get stopped in the supermarket a fair bit. Um, people just saying, like, good luck for Saturday and that kind of thing. And I think they spot Diane's hair first. And they're like, oh, <laughs> it's, it's Diane from Strictly and there's her partner. What's his name? Gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. And have your vlogging crowd come with you on this adventure? Yeah, I'm very fortunate that they sort of love and go into whatever I sort of decide to go into myself. And mm -hmm. um, it was a big decision to sort of do the show in the first place. I was very much sort of um and ah and about it, sort of trying to think, is it a good move? Is it a good thing to do? Um, and they they love it. They like, they get so excited to watch me every Saturday night now, and they're so supportive. They're just they're just brilliant. So lovely. Now you are learning a new skill, so this is pretty full on for you. Are you still finding time to vlog everything? I'm trying. Like in December, we do this thing called Vlogmas, where you try and show your day to day life up until Christmas. So 25 days or 24 days of of showing people what you get mm -hmm. up to in a day, basically. And I'm trying. I'm a few days behind. Um, but it is understandably. But, but we do. We, me and Diane, we do a, uh, like, like a little series on my channel where we react to our training sessions throughout the week, so you can visually see us improve until it gets that final product of like the end dance on the mm -hmm. Saturday, and it, it's it's really good. They, they seem to love it. Was one of the reasons that you were a bit reticent to do it the fact that you wondered whether it would be cool to do it? Is ballroom dancing cool? I mean, you've obviously proved it is because you've got a whole new generation now who are interested yeah. in what you're doing. But when you were thinking about it. Um, not really. I, th I see it as like learning a new skill. That's one of the reasons I really wanted to do it in the first place was I'm going to get to learn a, a new skill, which is something I never thought I'd be able to do. And I knew that to be able to say that I can do a ballroom, I can have to ballroom dance, I think is really, it's actually quite a cool thing to do. And when I was at school growing up, you, you didn't pick dance. You did mm -hmm. sport and that was it. You didn't go anywhere near dance. And this is a very new skill to you, as you said, but not to your family. Your, your, gran your grandma yeah. was a big ballroom dancer, right? Well, she she um, did go to Blackpool once. That's why, I've, to get, I always said to start the show, to get to Blackpool would be really cool. I didn't know that it was three quarters of the way through the show. <laughs> I was like, aiming pretty high to start off with. Um, but she'd been to Blackpool um, when she was younger and did a few dances there, mm -hmm. things like Foxtrot and Quick Step and stuff. Mm -hmm. So to be able to do a Quick Step in front of my nan, um, at Blackpool. She must be loving this. She didn't. So they don't. They know what you do, obviously. Yeah. Uh, online, um, but um, but but not necessarily constantly there and, and watching. So when you told them about this, yeah. they were thrilled. Yeah. This was a, that was a big reason as to why I wanted to do it as well, is because mm -hmm. they don't really understand. They, they kind of understand what I do. Like my granddad has Instagram and stuff. He's he's sort of aware of it. But for them, I can tell them all these great things that I get to do because of my job. But if I'm in the local newspaper, that to them is the That's biggest the big thing. Deal. That's the big, yes. the big deal. So they understand the whole vlogging and making videos on the internet kind of thing. But for them, Strictly is like a kind of, ah, OK. Of course. So <laughs> <laughs> you've made it now. Yeah. How, uh, how is he to teach? He is an absolute dream to teach. He puts in so many hours. Um, everything I tell him, he, he takes on board. Like, he's just such a hard-working student I guess I could call you. <laughs> you um but yeah no I've had the best time but not only is he such a hard worker he does it with so much fun so we've we've never had a day in the studio where we haven't laughed continuously oh. mm. um so it's been such a pleasure we've had the best of both worlds he works hard but also makes it so enjoyable mm. so I've had I've had the time of my life it's been amazing and um as as far as and we always say this when that when it comes to the discussing the show with the pros because you concentrate on the celebrity yeah. thing oh yeah. you know, I hope you do it hope you do it you know how far can you get how far can you get there's real competition Competition between you guys. I mean, you do, you want to win. Yeah, definitely. I think anyone who says they don't want to win would almost be lying. It's like, you know, for us, it's so rewarding to see our celebrity improve week on week. So you get to like the quarterfinal, semi final, and you think, you know what, we're one week away from that final. Of course, we want to win this. And I'm the last boy as well. I know, yeah. yeah. The final yes. male on the, and you're the, that means you're the final. Yeah, yeah, true. Didn't think of that. Well done. Boom. Boom. It's only yeah. just dawned on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have had your heads down, haven't you? Working. Very busy, very busy. What can we expect this weekend? This week we've got two dances. 
Uh, we've this, got is, the... this is a very different side to Joe this yeah. week. Um, we've sort of been, I feel, in the competition quite the young, fun. I mean, we just yeah. did Joseph in his Technicolor dream coat last week, yeah. oh, and yeah. I feel like it's a very mature dance. So I think and... the the public, especially your fans, are going to absolutely love this yeah. one because um, it's completely seeing a different side to Joe that we yeah. haven't really seen this season yet. So I'm really excited for that. And the Viennese waltz is just such a beautiful, beautiful number. A lot so, of rotation, though. Get a bit yeah. dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> and let alone two um, as well, isn't it? So is this something that you'll keep doing, do you think? I, I've already said, I said, didn't I? I said, yes. I would love to go... There needs to be, like, an event that they have where you go along, you know, you can... You, it's like a social event, but you do, like, waltzes. You learn how to stop and start and not crash into each other. Yeah. And you just have a yes. have a merry time and and learn to and do a bit of waltz. Bring back the old whatever. romance. Yeah. yeah. Well, Str Strictly is always, of course, you know, covered in rumor and speculation. Mm -hmm. And um, how are you going? <laughs> 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 there we go. No, do you know what? It's 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 so nice. I've met such a good friend in Diane. And. <laughs> and... <laughs> and that is, we haven't got we haven't got time to think of anything no like that. We're so that, busy we? dancing. Is that a no? <laughs> we're, so, we're so busy dancing. Oh! Oh, okay. That's like interviewing <laughs> Theresa May. <laughs> oh, right. Thanks very much. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you.